Thank you. Hallelujah. I want to do my own without music. Without music, without drum. To show I'm rejoiced with you. Uh, no. Please. You are using your excitement to disturb me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Be was all over the world. You can see me without drum, without uh, music. No, I'm dancing to the viewers. You may be seated, thank you. Hallelujah. I know why you are dancing. And I know why you are happy. Yes, because there is food and everything on your table there. <laughs> can somebody show me the table where there is everything you are looking for? Where is it? Where is that table here? Where? The table is in your heart. Ah, uh, table inside your heart. Does the Bible say the table is in your heart? It says it will set a table before you, not your heart. Why is that table? Well, the way you behave, as if you know and you are even seeing the table before you. You are just waiting for go so that you start taking what is on the table. Hallelujah. You are happy. You don't mean it. God give us faith to believe. It means that faith comes from God. He gives us faith to believe. If the faith from God has not come, there is no way you can believe. So it's like a, in his faith, you are thanking him for a more glorious answer to your prayer. If I'm talking to you. That is the way, the way you behave. You are just in his fear. You are thanking him for a more glorious answer to your prayer than you can imagine. That is the way. Ah, the joy is still there. But you are quiet. Let me see your smile now. Mm. How can somebody smile? When there is nothing, what are you smiling about? Tell me, the table. Unless God gives you faith to believe. You can't just say, I believe. Believe without faith. You must be given faith to believe. Listen to what I say. In his faith, we thank him for a more glorious answer to our prayer. Say your neighbor, in his faith, we thank him for more glorious answer to our prayer. In his faith, no, not your faith, in his faith, I thank him for a more glorious answer to my prayer than I can imagine. What is how this? Yes, oh my God. You can know if you have made it. What you're standing on, not your feeling, but it's where. You can know you are saved. People deceive themselves, I'm saved, I'm a child of God. You can know. Sometimes people just allow emotion to blind their reason. Emotion to blind what they are raising. People say, ah, People are dancing, let them show, join them dance. If I'm not dancing, they will complain, let them join them. No, you should not join them. You must have reason to dance. How many of you join them down? Ah, there are many. How many of people here join the people, join them down? Ah, there are many here, you are them. Oh my God. 
How many of us there joined them down? There are too many there. Look at the many people that joined them. Not that you dance, you join people dance. <laughs> Hallelujah. Say, Lord, don't let emotion blind my reason. I can't hear you. Again. What you see, what you hear, what situation look like, feeling, what you see, emotion feeling, what you see, eh? Eh? people are done, <coughs> let him join them. Ah, people are falling, I will not fall, I will not fall, let them stand where, it's about to get to me. Even some people who even turn back to me. I keep turning their face. They keep turning back. Lord, don't let emotion blind my reason. What is the reason of coming here? Salvation. Jesus is the reason. What's the reason? Jesus is my reason of coming here. But emotion, feeling what you see, some people, when they see it, they will begin to look at the style of attire people wear, the style of airline, air the style of spectacle, the style of tie. After during the break, they will go to the garage and look at the, the, the kind of beautiful car, flashy car. They say, oh, this car is latest. Let me just write the number, OK? Let me take the picture. I must get this car this year. Is that the reason why you are here? No. Mm -hmm. Lord, Lord, don't let emotion blind my reason. My reason, Jesus is my reason of coming here. Jesus is our reason. Maybe while you are sitting down, your stomach just torn. You feel some sharp pain. Mm. Mm. Your neighbor will say, what's wrong? What can I do for you? Ah, I don't know what is wrong with me. Because of that, everything about you changed. Why should this thing happen to me in the church? Ah, these people, have, they have traced me here. <laughs> Who are the people that used to trace you? Ah, the door is locked. They trace you. No, they have traced me. They come here again. This is how the thing used to do me. They have traced me. Oh. Lord, don't let emotion blind my reason. So rise up, let's offer a prayer to our hearts. Come, Lord Jesus, and abide in our hearts. Come, Lord Jesus, and abide in our heart. Teach us, Lord, the psalm of faith and restore our calm. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Hmm. Listen to that. Restore our calm. Despite our doubt and fear. Hmm. Think about that. It's a word to think about. Sometimes just say, Jesus Christ, this is it, this is it, this is it. Oh, what you say does not have meaning. You just said to reason, think of what you are saying. Come, Lord Jesus, and abide in our hearts. Teach us the sound of faith. Restore our calm despite 
our fear and doubt. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Remain silent. At this hour, listen with yourself what you need to continue at this moment. You need the gift of eyes that see, of ears that hear what Jesus is telling us. Not just looking at me, I put on shirt with white, with red, with this. Look at the way he behaves. Look at, he goes this way, he goes that way. He says, young man, I don't know. I thought he's an old man. Each time I see him on the man TV, he look old. But look at him. Oh, my God. This is my first time. This is emotion. What you can see, what you hear. All you need now, the gift of eyes to see. Not these eyes. The gift of eyes that see, of ear that hear what Jesus is telling us. Repeat after me. Gift of eyes that see, of ear that hear what God is telling us. Again. Again, in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. When you have this, you cannot begin to thank him for a more glorious answer to your prayer than you can imagine. Because it's not possible for you to begin to thank him for what you have not received. Thank him for answering your prayer when you have not offered the prayer. And you are thanking, thank him for answering my prayer. Whereas you have not even offered the prayer, you have not even seen, and you are thanking him for what? Unless you are able to know and see the one that is talking to you here, then you can obey what I'm saying. A man talking to you is different from God talking to you. When God talks to you, you hear you listen. But when a man talking to you, mm, mm, what is he saying? This is, you need now the gift of eyes that says, of ear that hear what God is telling us. Jesus must be honored. Think about us. It's not a man. It's a spirit. God is spirit, and it's what you must do so in what? Not this eyes. Not this ear. To honor him, not this eye, not this ear. You need the gift of eyes that see, of ear that hear what he's saying. Jesus must be honored. can Jesus be honored when you are looking at him by his side, hear him by your ear? How can he be honored? You are waiting now to see him with your side. Only faith pleases him. Only faith sees him. Only faith hear him. Now, 
I'm talking to your spirit. In your spirit, begin to thank him for a more glorious answer to your prayer. Thank him in his faith. Thank him in his faith. Ask in his faith. Begin to thank him. Have no power of my own. I have no power of my own. You are not here to begin to pray. Talk to the air. God has prepared you in advance. God prepared you in advance. Before he put you in the journey to come here. You cannot just wake up in the morning and say, oh, I'm coming to the church, the church of Holy Ghost, the church that the foundation is the Holy Spirit. And you wake up, you start that thought in your heart, begin to think of, oh, I must go to this church, I must go to this. The moment you begin that thought, the fight between darkness and lies started. It's not the day you start the thought of coming here that you came. You have started, some of you start a year, two years, and you have been wrestled with the for against, for against, immediately you have the mind, oh, I must come to this church. Trouble started. Fight between Holy Spirit and the evil spirit. You will not go. You will not go. In your, night, in your dream, nightmare, fight. <laughs> Just to stop you. Even the business you plan to go and do, hey, and a lot of things started just to stop you. But at last. How yeah. can you be here now and begin to doubt? After you have fought the battle, and you are here at last, and you are beginning to... Uh, what is going to happen? What is going to happen? Uh, what is going to happen? Wait till you see. <laughs> hmm? After you have fought the battle, a lot of battle. A lot. When I have been fighting this battle for the past two to three, four years before finally come here. The table is there. The table has been set before you. Amen. So, if you are here at last, your prayer should be, thank you, Lord, for 
more glorious answer to my prayer. Amen. Right now, you open your list and say, in your faith, I thank you for more glorious answer to my prayer. To my prayer. Now you open your lips, open your lips. In your presence, in your presence. Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Amen. 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 We was all over the world. Amen. Amen. We was all over the world. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You may be seated. So, right in your heart. In his faith, begin to give thanks to God for a more glorious answer to your prayer. More than you can imagine. Not to begin to say, hear me, hear me, hear me. No, just begin to give thanks to him. For you to be here, the job is half done. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, the job is half done. Yeah. I can hear you. Yeah. Mm, for you to just enter here and sit down, you have scored 50%. Yeah. I know what woman want is unlimited. I know what you want, but I just assure you 50%. So just 50% for you, because God prepare you in advance. Amen. For you to sit down, and those viewers are anywhere they are, watching this telecast, under the influence of our voice, 50%. The job is half done. So if the job is half done, the other 50%, who will do it? God. 
right now in his faith. In his faith. Say, in his faith. I thank him for a more glorious answer to my prayer. More than I can imagine. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Receive a gift of eyes to see. Of ear to hear. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, there's need for awakening. There's need for awakening. We need to know, oh yes, how, how do we approach it? This is uh, apostolic ministry. That uh, you cannot touch anything without the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost for your, a moment, for your tongue, for your look, for your cough, for your greed. You need Holy Spirit to lead you. Hallelujah. Amen. So your attention, your attention, don't allow emotion to blind your reason. God has made friends. The relationship is about God. If you are here to make friends, please. There are many reasons people are here. But basically, we are here for the salvation of our soul. So, please, emotion, feeling, out of it. Hallelujah. Amen. Pay attention. Pay attention. Amen. Hallelujah. 